Whew, hello everyone, I just woke up. Oh, it's eight o'clock, waiting for my daughter's ABA to get here. Today's her last day of school because tomorrow she has her surgery. And then the day after that, so it's supposed to be her last day, but she won't be going because of surgery. So I'll show you guys what she's wearing for school today. So this is what she's wearing. This is Little Miss Pre-K Grad. And she's gonna wear it with um, a tank top underneath and some shorts. But that's what she's wearing today because, um, like I said, today's her last day of preschool. And then um, September 6th is when she starts kindergarten. So yeah, um, last day of school and then tomorrow, tonight we're sleeping over my, I'm sleeping over my parents' house because um, we have to get up at like five o'clock in the morning to um, drive to the hospital for six o'clock. So um, sleeping over my mom's tonight. So I'll see you guys after um, I get her medicine, breakfast and everything else. Hey guys, um, it is 10, 10 and my daughter's ABA just left because she had um, to go do something today so she didn't stay to the full time. So I just got to get my daughter some lunch, get her ready for school. Um, I got her teacher gifts put together. I can, I'll show you guys that. And I'm wearing um, a black tank top today with some black leggings. And I might change the shirt because it's going to be 81 out today. So I don't know if it's going to be like super hot or whatever. And I don't want an extra sweat because of the black and black. So I'll show you real quick our teacher gifts. Right here it says thank you. What a great school year. And I said I put um, her name. And then inside here I just have some like little Snickers. I put, um, I went to Yankee Candle and they were having their semi-annual sale. And they had like these little car fresheners for only a dollar. So I picked up four of those. And then there's a pen in there. And then if you can see here in the back it's like a notepad that like sticks to your fridge. So I put these together and I have four of them in here. And then right here is the teacher gift that I sh made that video on. I just wrapped it in, um, I'm sorry, I wrapped it in some tissue paper and then put a ribbon around it. And I put the same um, little tag on it. So this is all set. And then um, I got a big thing of these off of Zuli last year. It goes all the way up to like last day of college. So this one says like, on this side it says first day of preschool and then on this side it says last day of preschool. So um, I plan on taking a picture, have her take a picture and put the sign today because obviously it's her last day. So I'm gonna get her stuff ready, make sure she's all dressed and ready. Um, at 11 o'clock I'm gonna get her dressed because the bus comes for 11.45 so we leave here at 11.30 and then we walk down to the end of my driveway and we wait for the bus. So we still have like an hour and almost two hours till, till the bus comes, but I like to make sure that I have all her bag ready and everything ready. And then I get her dressed last minute so that obviously nothing happens to her clothes while she's playing or whatever. So I'll see you guys when I get her ready. I'll take a little video and show you guys her outfit and everything. Go ahead. There's Aubrey, last day of school. Look how pretty, oh huh, Aubrey? And last day of preschool sign. Good job. Last day of preschool. Waiting for the bus. Huh, Aubrey? Are we waiting for the bus? Look at mommy. Yeah, but why is Someone left a car seat there. There's a car seat behind us that she keeps looking at. That somebody left there. But I told her it's been sitting there for a couple days in the rain and everything, huh? It's so hot out. Isn't it hot? Yeah. Guys, I just put my daughter on the bus and I, I'm walking to the track. Oh wow, I guess there's gonna be a carnival over here the 21st to the 24th. I'll show you guys when I go by how it looks, but I might bring my daughter over here now that today's her last day. We'll have to see how she's feeling after surgery. So I'll show you guys here when I'm walking by all the carnival stuff. You guys got the stuff going up. You can notice it. But, oh wow, look at all this stuff. Is that big tall one? Wow. I'll definitely have to come with my daughter. On the It's the 21st to the 24th. Guys, so I'm going over the bridge. Right now to go do my walk. Looks like there's some people here, so I'll see you guys when I'm over there and walking and everything, so. 
God, guys, it's a little slippery here today. Oh, it's slippery because of, if you can see here, because yesterday it rained here like crazy. So from all like the mud and everything falling, it's getting a little slippery. So I'm gonna have to be careful today. Like as you can see, there's a big puddle, big puddle there, another one there. So yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful with that. And I'm already regretting this, you guys. I'm regretting this black on black thing. Like I'm really regretting it. <laughs> Cause even though like there is some wind today, but it is hot, very hot. 81 degrees out, definitely better than yesterday. I can't complain cause of that, but definitely better than yesterday. Hey guys, I'm at 2.1. So, finish up here, but like I said, it's slippery today. Like, I've been going s slower than usual. And there's a guy here who says he does like 20 laps around, which is like three miles. So, he's be said to be careful too, because he was slipping a little bit. So, hopefully I can get this all done in time because of how I'm not able to, sorry. I feel like I had like a bug on my back. But um, hope I can get this done sooner than I usually do. So it's definitely taking me longer today, everyone. Like I'm at 2.62 and I know for sure that I'm probably gonna be here at past one, which it's fine because, I'm oh, sorry about that. Um, I got a bunch of stuff done this morning, so it's not like I need to rush home and do a whole bunch of stuff. And over here where I'm walking is exactly why I'm, it's been taking me forever to walk. Cause normally I'm like speeding, like not speeding, but like walking fast and trying to get this done. And cause usually when you walk fast, the more you sweat and all that, but I'm sweat. Oh goodness. Almost just slid. Ooh. And there was a lady over here walking with her dog and she had flip flops on. So I can imagine how it was for her. And I'm wearing like my regular shoes. So, oh my God. And like, I'm getting like mud on my back of my legs and stuff like that from walking. So I'm having to like stop and wipe it off and everything like that. It's just a pain in the butt. But I just got a picture. I'm so happy. Um, my daughter went to school, obviously went to school. And um, I asked her teacher, her preschool teacher, if she could take a picture of Aubrey with her gift that she gave her teacher. So I just got the email with the picture. So I'm happy to have that because I have one of these um, school memory books that goes from preschool all the way up to senior year. And you put like school picture, you put class picture in it, you put like favorite subject for your friends and like you fill out a whole bunch of stuff. Whew. And so I want to be able to print out the picture and put it on there. And I'm hoping that like every year, every school year, I can get a picture with her and her teacher and put it in her book. Because I feel like that's good memories to have and everything like that. So, so I'm hoping I can get this mile done, hit three miles and then walk home. And we're, after my daughter gets home, my mom is picking us up around like 435 to go to her house because um, we got to sleep over tonight because um, she's bringing us to the hospital tomorrow for my daughter's appointment. So, and we haven't even said anything to my daughter about it just because she's so little and, well, she's not really little, but she's almost five and they don't really understand things like that. And I'm not going to tell her how they're going to like bring her somewhere and do something to her without me. Because obviously, like, I can't be in the operating room when she's in there. So, it's going to be, like, all different for her. But we have to be there at 6 o'clock in the morning. And the procedure is until 7.30. So, I guess I like to have people there and ready and everything. So, I'll make sure I um, put a little clip put together of that to have, like, a little memory of her first surgery and everything. Like, I know it's not, like, a good memory because... Ooh, slippery right there. Because nobody really wants to have a memory of having to have surgery. Well, her surgery isn't like... It's not like a life and death type surgery. 
and I really wouldn't, it is surgery, but I wouldn't really like call it surgery surgery because um, all they're doing is putting tubes in her ears and then removing her, I can never say it, I'm so sorry if I say it wrong, but her an, anonoids or whatever it is. So um, my mom said that her like voice will change after she gets those taken out. So we'll have to see how she is afterwards. So obviously like tomorrow we'll, we'll probably be out of there by like 8.30 the latest is what I'm thinking. Or even like 9 the latest. And then like she'll just rest the rest, sleep and rest the rest of the day. So, oh God, over here you guys is, see how like brown it is and like muddy. So right here is like going down the hill as you can see. So I've been trying to be like as careful as possible, which means I have to walk slower. So that's why, because you you guys know, usually I'm done with both my miles by 12.45. The late, like 12.45, 12.50 the latest. And today that's not how it's going to be because of how slow I have to walk through here. But like the, the parts that don't have this stuff, I'm trying to walk as fast as I can. So I'm hoping to not be here too much past one. Because even though, like, I've already done some stuff at home, I'd like to go and do as much as I can before my daughter gets home of, of what else, so. Oh, sorry about that. I always get these notifications and they're, like, in my way. So I'm trying to, like, fling them up while I'm talking to you guys. Over here is the worst part, you guys. Ooh, this is the worst part here. So I'll insert a picture um, at the end of my daughter wearing her, um, well, I, there's obviously a video you guys saw before this of, um, me and her on the porch taking pictures before school and everything. So you saw how she looked and everything, but I always like to like, I know it's a lot of people don't do it. Oh, mud on my feet. But a lot of people don't really like do something special for last day or whatever. But I like to at least get her like a cute little shirt or a little outfit to wear for her last day. And I got her shit, this is, um, I'm sorry, I forget what exactly what it says, but it says like pre-K grad on it. So, cause it's her preschool graduation and her school doesn't actually do a graduation thing or anything like that, so. But they do give her a certificate and I think her teacher said that she was gonna give them like a little book to have too, so. So I will see you guys when I am almost done. I'm hoping it doesn't take much longer. I'm gonna try and walk on the sides where the bushes are to, to get to get done faster if I can instead of walking like in the middle of the track. So I'll see you guys when I hit the three mile mark. So I just hit the three mile mark. I guess I was wrong you guys. Cause it is 1245 I think it is. I took a you'll you'll see a picture right before this of the um I took a snapshot of what my Fitbit said, it said 3.3. .3. And I think it's 12.42, 12.45 right now. So actually I did get it all done because I'm not gonna do an extra lap today. Just hot and this heat wears me out. So I'm gonna walk home and everything. Hope everybody had a good weekend and everything like that, I know. It's summertime for a lot of people now, so you got kids home and everything. My daughter will be home until like July 9th, and then she'll be going back to, she'll be having summer school for a month, July 9th to, July 9th to August 9th, and she'll be going from 8.30 to 12.30. So that means I'm gonna have to like, do my walks earlier than I normally do, because obviously, if I'm out of here at 12.45, I can't come at my regular time and do my walk. So I'll probably like come in the morning like after I put her on the bus and then come and it might be even cooler in the morning too. So it won't be so hot like it is like afternoon time. Oh my God, I'll show you guys my feet in a second when I walk over to the bridge. Oh my God, it's crazy how this is over here today. Probably would have been slipping with a stroller if I brought my daughter. <laughs> so I'm glad I haven't brought my daughter here. So 
so here I am going on the track. I'll show you guys my feet real quick. I'll come over here and show you guys real quick. But look at my feet. Look if you guys can see that, like look at that. Look all the mud and like leaves all over my feet. I'll try and find some grass to wash it all off with because obviously I don't want that on my floors, my rug and my house. So gotta see if I can get that off. So I'm all done guys, walking under the bridge. I will see you when I get home. I'm walking home now, so I'll see you there. Hey guys, so I was walking home from the track and there's a restaurant over close to my house called the Lake Pizza. And my mom and my stepfather were there, so I went in and had lunch with them. I had an antipasto salad. Um, I didn't eat like the cucumbers and um, picked out the onion but it had like salami and ham and cheese in it with some lettuce. And then I got the house dressing, which was like an um, oil and vinegar type base. So it wasn't like anything like too bad or anything like that. Cause I didn't want to get anything. Like I know they had other ones that definitely weren't, that I definitely couldn't have. So I tried to get something that was okay. But um, now I'm actually walking home now and gonna do some stuff before because it's already almost two o'clock and I have to wait for my daughter at 2 45 so I'll update you guys once I'm at the house and everything guys it's almost time for me to leave to go get my daughter but I figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing here so I'm se doing separating laundry these are my daughter's clothes my pants and like bed pants my bed shirts my shirts, my socks, and stuff like that, and then my daughter's swim stuff over there, towels, and then my, like, Halloween shirts, and then I have a little basket here, so I'm just trying to, like, get it at least out of the basket and on my bed before I have to go get her, so I'll walk, I'll see you guys when I'm walking out to go get her. Hours, my daughter gave me, um, seeds for Mother's Day, and we put it in a pot, and look at how, look at this. Like obviously they haven't, the flowers haven't grown yet, but look at this. And then this one right here was already grown. We just put it in there. And these are, I can't even pronounce it. Put that right there. And these, these grew a little bit more. But here's the plants right here. So hopefully they start actually growing flowers soon. Ooh, there's some wind out here. It feels good. I gotta go walk and get Aubrey. See how her last day of school was. Hopefully it was good. I managed to get all the laundry on my bed separated. So at least I got that. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My alarm went off and for some reason it stopped recording. But I'm just walking over here. Some good wind and still hot and everything, but got some wind. So I'm going to sit over here and wait for Aubrey to get off the bus. It's very hot, so, and I can barely see you in the sun, so, well, I'll see you. I meant, like, see myself in the sun, so I'll see you guys when I get back with her, and I'll ask her how her day was since it's her last day. My daughter's bitty baby came. We got it sent out in the mail to get it all cleaned up. Let's see it. Pull it out, Aubrey. Pull the box out. Let me just show you guys how it looks when the box comes out. Here, I'll show you guys how it looks when she gets. So I guess back here, there's like a white part here. Keeps the baby in. There's another part down here. This is the second time we've actually done this for her baby. The bitty baby. Here, how it looks. So there's the bitty baby. Wait a minute, Aubrey. Wait a minute. She's got a hat and a... you, sweetie. Got a nightgown. So this is how her bitty baby looks. Just like that. So it also comes with a certificate of good health. This is now, your bitty baby is now ready to return home and resume all regular activities slowly. 
I prescribe plenty of rest for one week plus an extra strength dose of TLC, tender love and care, to be administrated at least twice daily. And then there is a get well soon card that says from your friends at American Girl. So yeah, it took like three, two, three weeks to get here, which wasn't bad. We went to um, to an American Girl store local to us. And we sent it in for like a wellness check, which they just cleaned it up. Like it didn't really have anything wrong with it. The first time we sent it out, it had an arm, take like its arm was hanging because my daughter used to hang, um, hold the baby by its arm. So the last time we sent it out, that's how it was. I'm so happy she's home, my mother. Yeah. So now we just did like a wellness check just to clean her up and everything. So, but we just got downstairs. I put a whole bunch of laundry away. And um, it's so hot upstairs. I need to get like something upstairs to get so hot. But now we're just downstairs. I'm gonna, as you probably saw before, I gotta clean this whole living room before I leave tonight. So, and then I'll be at my mom's house for the rest of the night. Guys, just been lounging around the house. My daughter's watching a tablet and I've been watching some YouTube videos. I'm actually going to go upstairs right now. Yep. I'm going to go upstairs here. Up the stairs. Grab our clothes. Because my stepfather is coming soon, so. i got to get our clothes here. Aubrey, what are you doing? Uh, she's worried that I'm going to touch her babies. <laughs> I'm in my room, Aubrey. Oh, okay. Mom, did she touch me? No, I'm getting clothes for tomorrow. Just grabbing clothes. Goodness. I guess I need to put all the laundry away because I don't see much in here. Still some downstairs that are is folded I gotta bring up. I had all that stuff in the basket that it's like, oh let me do this stuff in the basket first and then I'll grab this stuff downstairs. So maybe I'll have to get some stuff from downstairs too. So I'm gonna get this stuff ready and I'll see you guys when I get to my mom's. Guys, I'm at my mom's house now. We're here for the night. Just trying to find the remote here so I can change the channel. But yeah, I'm at my mom's. Let's see what's on TV. I don't have cable, so it's like, uh, I love coming. When I come over, I try and see what I can watch. Because I don't have any cable. Let's see here. And sometimes there's like nothing on, so. Thanks, nice, babe. Kim has already gotten Let's see, so far nothing wrong, uh, So let's see here And I do have like all the Halloweens on here recorded so sometimes I'll just watch that if there's nothing on because obviously nothing beats some Megamayas. So sometimes I'll just watch that if there's nothing on. So far nothing's on. So here for the night. I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm just going to find something to watch and sit around and do whatever until we figure out what we're doing for dinner and gotta give my daughter a bath and put her to bed and everything because we gotta get up so early so i'll see you guys later guys just got done eating dinner i figured i'd show you guys um some unsweet nice tea Sunburn. Uh. 
So I just put Aubrey to bed. She had a bath and then I just put her to bed. So um, now she's asleep and I'm going to go and figure out something to watch on TV and try and go to bed because I got to be up early. And oh my God, guys, look at this. Ugh. But I swear it's from the heat because I never get it. Never. So it must be from the heat. Because I try and wash my face every night, but I know that, like, the heat just, ugh. So, I'm going to figure something out else to watch, and I'll tell you guys what I'm watching when I figure something out here. Hey, guys, I just want to show you this boy right here. Look at this boy right here, my dog, Jack. Look at him. Boopie, huh? I only get to, I don't get to see him much. <laughs> trying to catch flies. <laughs> trying to catch flies. But yeah, we just, ugh, I feel so bad for him. We just picked off a, like a total of 12 ticks off him today. Like, oh my God, we just picked off like six alone. And I had to have my, my stepfather usually does it because he growls at me with it. Even though he, I'm his favorite, but he growls at me when trying to get ticks off of him. So we're gonna. I'm gonna see if I can find like a, a groomer that doesn't. That's not like so expensive, because like I feel like during the summertime he, he's probably gonna need to be groomed, and then like obviously wintertime he needs his all his um, hair and everything. But see if we can find a groomer, cause then it'd be like so much easier to find the ticks and stuff, cause he gets so much hair and he has so much hair. So not sure if you guys can see here, but there's a kitty. My mom has a rag doll kitty here. She's so big, 11 and a half pounds, sagging belly and everything. It's hard to see, I'm sorry. But look at her moving around. Look at this boy. This is Jack. Look at him. I love him so much. I miss seeing him every single day. Couldn't go to the service. 